Well, hello again, boys. It is still Saturday, October 3 of 2020, and today was another hell of a rainy day. We've had so much rain here in Naga City for the last, the whole year. There's sometimes we don't see the sunshine for like two weeks, but Mr. Joe's in a great mood today. He's still got that cold, but he's fighting it off. Mr. Joe is going to have a good talk with you guys tonight. We're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to try to keep things light. And I'm trying a new lighting system here. I've got no lights on in the room, but I have that little round light that you see guys use on videos and YouTube. So we're trying a different lighting situation here. The problem is I can't wear glasses because the light bounces off the glasses. So I'll have to take these off in a minute. Okay, so tonight, boys, we're going to talk about my new category. And I have a new award winner. He is a graduate of the Frike Rike School of Big Pimp Daddies. Now, I normally don't like to attack people. Well, yeah, I do. It, it's just too much fun. Some of these guys are just such, they make themselves such big targets, I, I just can't resist. And so that's what we're going to talk about tonight. I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Joe's October Super Simp Sucker of the month. Okay, I'm going to have to put my glasses on because I have to I have to read this. Now, I'm just going to say this one more time. If nobody bothers Mr. Joe, I don't do videos about anybody. I've done videos about those guys who think they're going to uh, put out shit and lies and slander about me. William Abrams, guys like that. But other than that, I don't mess with anybody and that's been proven true. The only guys I really can't stand is Crazy William. And then we have uh, Paul's Asian Adventure, and it appears that we've chased Paul's Asian Adventure right off of the internet. You know, we've been talking about Paul because he put out a video teaching men how to ditch their Filipina. And if you've been watching my videos, uh, you'll see what I've been talking about. And his little girl, he's got a very cute little Filipina. She can't be but 20 or 21 years old, I don't know. But maybe she left him when she figured out what a piece of shit he really is. So Paul, Asian Adventure, was supposed to have put on a video this morning alive, and he canceled that. And then I just noticed it popped up in front of me that uh, he's now going to take a few weeks off because he has too many projects. Paul's got no projects. He's got nothing going on. Uh, he's just another simp sucker that is lost on Epstein Island over there in Dumaguete. And let's remember, when I say Epstein Isle, we're talking about Dumaguete, where Frike Rike introduced the modern-day sex pads to. So what happened? Okay, so I put up a video uh, the other day, and I get a comment from one of Frike Rike's graduates, and this is what, what he wrote to Mr. Joe. His name is Rick... Domanski, D-O-M-A-N-S-K-I. Rick Domanski, go to his Facebook page, boys. You're going to see uh, his, uh, looks like a lady boy to me. He's got a Filipina he married and brought her over there, and she's already posting uh, very revealing, very sexy pictures of herself. So when the cat's away, uh, when Ricky's away, uh, Mama's on the Internet posting some very naughty pictures of herself. Uh, Problem is, she's a super ugly girl. I mean, ugly as shit. She uses those filters, you know, that some of these people put on to make themselves look more beautiful, their skin real white. But when you see her unfiltered picture standing next to Rick the man, and by the way, Rick goes by the name Rico. Who else do we know that goes by the name of Rico? Rico Suave. That's right. Freaky Frog. That's exactly right, boys. So this guy's an absolute graduate of the Freaky Rike School of Big Daddy Pimpology. Now, here's what uh, Rico writes to Mr. Joe. He writes, real man with a real name here. Broke loser. Rike introduced me to my wife. He's a saint. He says, Rike is a saint. It just goes to what I show you guys. These are these super simps that can't get a woman without getting consultation and then paying for an idiot like Frike Rike to help him graduate uh, to come over here to find a woman. And when you see old Rico Suave, uh, he's a typical uh, overweight, cheap clothes wearing, 
uh, sex pat that came over here and found a younger girl. And guess where she's from, boys? The Angulus City area, you know, outside of Quezon City. And we all know what runs around over there. And when you see her, when you see the pictures she's posted of herself, Old Rico is nothing but a super simp sucker, and I call him a sucker because he brings the girl over there just a few months ago. He marries her, brings her back to the States. They live down in Florida, South Florida. He's got a little condominium that he shacks up in. And obviously, uh, he keeps trolling the vlogs over here in the Philippines, and so he's obviously still looking for something. Maybe he's not as happy with her as he'd like us all to believe. You know how Rike is. He teaches you to just get rid of one and get another young one. But I call the guy a sucker because now, like I said, she's online and she's posting uh, video, uh, not videos, pictures of herself trying to maybe, what, attract other sex pets that might be living in her area. Man, you know, we tell these guys time and time again, Quit being so stupid. Quit listening to Freak A Rike. And you know what? The only garbage I get anymore on this channel are the guys who are angry with me for telling the truth. They don't want to hear the truth because they don't want to be told to look in the mirror and see what underdressed, uh, they're totally mismanaging their appearance. And I'm telling you guys, it doesn't matter if you're handsome or if you're the ugliest guy that, that crawled out of Trollville. If you're clean, cut your hair nice, shave nice, and put on a decent shirt and wear some decent shoes. Get yourself to look nice. And I'm telling you, the Filipinas are going to be gravitating towards you because you show pride in your appearance. And when you show pride in your appearance, it's going to translate to these women that he'll probably take care of me because he takes care of himself. And I've gotten some nice comments from guys, and I love my subscribers. My subscribers are type A gentlemen. They get it. They, under, they understand exactly what Mr. Joe is trying to teach here. I'm not trying to slam anybody. I'm not saying don't come over here and do what you want to do. I'm saying come over here and do it with class. And then do whatever it is that you're going to do, but don't hurt anybody in the process of it but when you get these super sim suckers like like this rico guy and i'm going to uh post at the end of this video i'll put up pictures of of his beautiful i swear to god she looks like a lady boy but what what do i know and he dresses like like a typical uh piece of garbage i don't know the guy looks like he's 60 years old uh, he likes to take cruises, and if you notice in the way he talks, he likes to talk like he's a sportscaster, you know, hey, this is Rico, you know, one of those kind of guys. Uh, he thinks he's, uh, well, let's just say it, boys, he thinks he's Rike. He thinks he's Rike, and it's obvious he's a graduate, and any of you other simps out there who want to write me about me being a broke, broke loser and this and that, ha! The funny thing is, you know, Mr. Joe's running all over Southeast Asia having a great time while you're sitting at home watching my videos. So uh, who's got the one up on who? You know, in this past year, let's see, I've been to Japan twice. I've been to South Korea. I've been to Taiwan. I've been to Vietnam four times. I have been to uh, Bangkok. I have been down to Singapore. I've been to Manila multiple times, hanging out there with, with Rochelle, staying at five-star hotels. If you saw my last channel, Mr. Joe's living it up nice here. There ain't nothing broke about Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe's having a good time, and I suggest, rather than you simps trolling other guys' stations and making uh, bad comments towards us, remember, we're the ones entertaining you. We're the ones that you're watching. So the joke's on who? And you know what? If you want to make a negative comment about my, my videos or something that I'm saying, I don't take those down. You can, you can have at it. But when you start to get personal and say things that aren't true, I'm just going to hide you from the channel, and then uh, you've made up your fake channel because most of you guys hide under a fake name. Now, in that regard, I will say this about Rico, Rick Domansky. He did use his real name, and so uh, I'm going to give him an extra star for manning up and doing that. But Rico, Rico uh, it's obvious what you are, and so I suggest that you start watching your beautiful wife. <coughs> beautiful. <coughs> oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. You gotta just look at this woman. You'll, you're gonna see her in just a minute. 
But Rico, uh, uh, start watching your wife. She's at home on uh, Facebook posting some very naughty and very sexy photographs of herself. So that's uh, my super simp of the month. I hope you go to his Facebook channel. I hope you, you see him and uh, congratulate him on his graduation from the Freaky Rike School of Big Pimp Daddies over there on Epstein Isle. So again, this is Mr. Joe. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, because if I don't get subscribers, I'm going to have to find something else to do before long. So again, this is Mr. Joe saying, have a great day, and we're going to be looking for the next simp for our November edition. Congratulations, Rick. You made it. Bye.